Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're playing Hyperscape. Uh, sorry for that. I don't know why that intro was so energetic. It's usually never that energetic. Uh, like I said, today we're gonna be playing Hyperscape. Hyperscape is a new battle royale. Um, but it is very futuristic. Is kind of its whole thing. So we're gonna be playing some solos today. Um, by the way, quick reminder: I am very sorry. Um, also, I'm not drinking a G Fuel can in this video. I know I said I would in my last video, but just too bad of time recording. But, um, sorry about, uh, streams and stuff. I am gonna start doing a lot more streams, videos, all that stuff soon. So, do be ready for that. Alright. Alright, all right. we're just gonna get into this. I so, you drop it down these pod things, and you have to kind of fly over to areas. Uh, I like how this game's actual zone works, because it's not like your normal circle. Different, they, They're all different sectors of the map, and they close down. More similar to, like, uh, Hunger Games type thing. So, yeah. But, we're just gonna get right started here. Like, see, there's another guy over there. But, I actually kind of bad at this game like i said i have gotten close to getting wins but oh yeah the best part about this game is it's made by the same developers that make um rainbow six siege which if you guys know i love rainbow six siege and that is a very cash money thing so we're just gonna, we're just gonna leave right there all right first people that i have died but yeah so uh, it does do the you play thing, so it's actually quite helpful. Ah! No, this is bad. Hey, he just fucking ran away. Sectors are about to collapse. Little. No, I have not enough ammo to deal with him, actually. I, uh, oh yeah, I just kind of just placed that without telling anyone. That is one of the uh, hacks in the game. Those are, that's what they are called. And basically, they're just kind of like power-ups. Like that one places a wall down. And there's a bunch of other ones. Like the one that guy used was a ball. You just turn into a ball and run away. Kind of like, uh, what are, like the ballers from Fortnite or something like that. Oh, and then also another cool part is you can upgrade your stuff. If you, Like I just did right there, I found another wall on the ground, and I combined it, my two, my wall and that wall together, and now the cooldown time is uh, better. Like this one also here, I combined the two shotguns, and now the magazine size is better. So, and there are different upgrades other than time and magazine size, like, you know, you got your damage and everything. But yeah, that's also one of the coolest, uh... What do you call it? Yeah, <laughs> sorry, I really can't be thinking. I'm really not thinking very well for the uh, feature. That's what it's called. Oh, oh, and sorry if I seem kind of like tired or anything today. I am a little bit tired. I couldn't sleep or anything, but I do want to be getting out more videos for you guys. And they're not all just going to be solo videos just by myself. I'm going to be playing with friends some more. Ah! Come on, hit your shots! Ooh. I did not appreciate how close that was. Alright, that was actually too close. I was, I almost got crapped down right there. Ooh, ooh, alright, my favorite, one of my favorite weapons are over here. Now, my favorite class is this shotgun I have, but it's also the Hexfire LMG. This is my favorite class in the game, rocking these two. I also love the teleport ability, uh, and then my secondary ability, I usually swap out every now Nope, that's not the gun I wanted. I thought that was another shotgun for some reason. <laughs> oh, that's a person. See, now that gun may only do four damage, but it's also got a goaded magazine. Hey, look. Come back here. A sector has collapsed. 
the main that's really the main problem about this game is the movement but it's also one of the best factors it's just people can just run away from you whenever you start to lower them which sucks like you know i'm trying to trying to attack you but a lot of other games have similar problems like like fortnite had, had like if you had like a launch pad you can just dip out of there and then never see that team again for the rest of the game but yeah so i don't know if you guys would, would like to see more of this game maybe playing it with some friends too make sure you guys tell me comment Be like everything or if you guys want to play this game oh yeah see these red sectors they're the ones slowly corroding and collapsing and basically just like all the buildings and stuff disappear from them this is actually really sick not gonna lie but there's like more hot spots like the yellow areas are like the bigger areas with better loot oh yes this is also another power up i like so this one it plays a heal ring around you and just heals you it's pretty standard but in a lot of other games power up wise but it's still useful and then i also like to use teleport because it gets me around fast and oh these so when you're playing squads i like this because uh you if you're you don't rev people don't get knocked all right in this game people don't get knocked they just instantly die but if you kill a team if you kill someone they'll drop this yellow thing and your teammate can use this go in this in his ghost mode and then you can revive them which i like because that not just you can't just like easily revive someone you actually need a kind of get into some conflict oh lethal melee event all right so th yeah this that's also a big thing uh there's events in this game and they do a bunch of different things Sectors are about like to this collapse. one makes i think it brings up melee damage I'm not 100 percent sure what all of them do but this one brings up melee damage and they're all limited See, instant kill with melee. I kind of think that's kind of overpowered <laughs> with the instant. I feel like it shouldn't be instant, but it's fun because you can just go whack. So you kind of want to stay out of people's way when they when this event's on. So you don't want to get into too much of a fight. But I did not know it would one tap. I just thought it was like increased melee damage in general. But gladly this one don't want last too long, so you can kind of just jump around the whole time. That's a person. Actually gonna fuse that. That was scary. Not even gonna lie. I'm sorry, I'm not talking right there. I just got scared for a decent second there. I really thought I was gonna die. I'll pull out my shotgun because I am scared. Because we are getting kind of decent like, game right now. This uh, There's only like 80 people to start, I think. 80 or less or something. But it still is very scary even though we're not too late of game. So, I don't remember exactly when the crown spawns. I think it's when the, like when we're down to one sector left or when we're down to a certain number of people or both, I don't know. But see, oh, there it is. Since we're right next to a collapsing sector, see it starts eroding and the buildings, once they get eroded enough, will start disappearing and that would just be kind of like a blank dead zone, um, which is actually really sick. As so we can kind of slowly watch it while we're kind of camping here we're because i'm too scared to really walk around like you can see that whole building's eroded right now and at this point you could actually walk through that building if i the went over there oh see there we go it's collapsed so you can walk through all that stuff right now none of it's solid and it you'll take a lot of damage in there Actually, I don't know if it'll be too much. I think the later game it gets, it'll take more kind of like your the standard battle royale. Is about to start. Oh, this is another event. All right. So there's just going to be health kits all over the place. Oh, but my sector's about to collapse. But now we're good. See? Health kit right here. 
So if I really needed health, I could have grab. I can grab that. But there's another one right here. There's also people down there that I hear. We're kind of just gonna chill up here for right now. People can have higher ground than me, and I don't like it. Alright. Oh wait, that's a person. I don't know if I want to engage. Ooh, I don't know if I want to engage or not. Kind of third party in right here, but nope. I'm gonna grab that just because it's ending and I feel like it. You guys ever do that in games? <laughs> All right, I'm kind of greedy like that again. Don't need it, but I'm gonna take it. Just because it's there and there's no point in not taking it. What's that Mr. Ball man doing? I might not want to be up here really though because uh, there's no fall damage in this game. But there are, snipers do a lot of damage. Like if someone's got a fully maxed out sniper and you get hit in the head, you can just like instantly get your cheeks clapped. <laughs> Alright, we made it out of there. Um, I'm gonna hopefully get into a building. All right, building right here, building. I wish I kind of had the wall perk right now, but the health perk is a lot uh e more helpful when you got a couple guys on you. Oh, all right, now I maxed out my shotgun, so I have the max magazine in it, and I have um uh the max damage it does. Uh, my hex fire is almost maxed out, but what's good about this uh shotgun right here? is that, um, uh, what, no, what happens with this shotgun? If I find another shotgun, I can overfuse, and that would give me more ammo and stuff. Oh, max! Alright, so now this is max damage and magazine size. Oh, that do a lot of damage! Alright, he kind of dipped. And I'm enjoying that. Because that guy had some max, a max style harpy right there. The cooldown accelerator event is about to start. I did not want to fight that guy. Alright, we gotta kinda dip. Cause there are people. Now, buildings can be really dangerous this late of game. But they're also. They're also the only really decent places to see that guy kind of. No, I was revealed. This is bad. This is bad. I don't like it. All right, we gotta. We gotta kind of chill right now. Oh, that's a person that was revealed. See, oh, I oh I almost thought we had the leaning action, you know, from Rainbow. But we didn't. A sector has contenders. We have reached the showdown. Oh, crown is spawning soon. That means. Oh, a lot of people. All right, crown, crown spawned. All right, crown is gonna spawn right there, and there are has. And there's usually at least one guy that goes after it, so we're gonna want to kind of laser him. See, overfuse. It refills my weapon clip. So that's like an easy way to reload or the crown is not on the battlefield. Go far. The crown is Ah! Ah! What the hell was that? This man really just lasered me when there was a guy in front of him stealing the crown. Alright, so yeah, see he has thirty seconds. Yep, see, all right, he died. A crown has been claimed. Casualty. Seconds still standing. I don't, I'm not happy right now. Oh, we gotta stop this man. How's 
this guy so far up in the air? No. Alright. Kind of lasered him right there. Ow. Oh no. Three. Nope. He had some super jump, bro. Oh, that was one game. But I feel like... I See, I got second. Which, just like anyone who makes it to that phase kind of gets second, so it doesn't really mean too much. But yeah, so... I feel like that's where I'm going to end this one. Like I said, if you guys would like to see more of this game, comment down below. Uh, make sure you guys like the video, you know, all that stuff. Share it with your friends, subscribe, notification bell. But we'll see you guys in the next one. <laughs>